I'm Mike from Cinti Studios. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to load up our assets from the Cinti store into Unity. When you've downloaded the zip, take note of this number. That's the Unity version that it's compatible with. Any later versions are perfect, but anything earlier won't work. So we need to use a minimum of 2017.1 with this specific asset. Once we've unzipped it, we should have a project folder with a structure like this. Now, we go to the Unity launcher and we click open. We navigate to our folder and we just go and open it at this level. We don't go any deeper. If we go deeper, it won't work. You should be given the option once you click on the folder to select folder and it should now open up the Unity project. Everything going fine, it should load up. The demo scene should be perfectly working. All of the models should have uh, you know, textures and stuff on them. Uh, if you notice that you don't have thumbnails, really simple, you just right click and go re-import. It'll re-import the assets and it'll regenerate the thumbnails. And we can basically start placing our assets wherever we want, however we want. Cool. I'll now show you an alternative method if you already have a project set up. Let's say I've already got a project and I want to bring the prototype stuff into this project rather than opening it up as a new project. It's nice and easy. All I do is go to my folder, I go into the project, I go into the assets folder, and then I just copy out the, the full polygon prototype folder. And then all I'm going to do is go to my new project. I'm going to open it up in Explorer. I'm going to go into the assets folder and I'm simply going to paste it in. That's it. Nice and easy. Once that's done, I would wait until it's completely transferred. But once that's done, we'll go back to Unity and it'll load the assets and everything should be okay. If you've got any asset clashes that can cause issues, so I wouldn't bring in another copy of Prototype once you've already bought it in. I would delete that out and then re-bring it in if you need to for updates or whatever. Um, but I'd always back up before you do any kind of update stuff, just to be sure, because who knows what's gonna happen if you've done all this complex code stuff, always back up. So once those assets have loaded up, we should be able to just start using them like normal. Um, if you don't do it this way, you won't. it'll lose the material linkings and you'll lose the texture linkings and your assets will lose their color, they'll just be white. So if you do it this way, it should bring everything through correctly and everything should be linked up and all the materials should be assigned. So it's definitely the best way to do it if you're gonna do this. Uh, the other alternative is you could open it up in a new project and you could export out a Unity package, um, which is pretty easy. You just come up to here and you just go export package and then you can import it into your uh, your other project, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much we should be good to go. So let's just do a test I should be able to bring in one of these assets and then boom good to go. So there's another alternative method uh, Anyway, I'm going to cover the unreal stuff and if you if you're good on unity then you're good to go uh, And I'll go over the unreal stuff in a minute. So um, Thank you for your time enjoy your assets and uh, have a good one